something to you. Okay. Because I was a junior at UNC. Yeah. And I was in entrepreneurship. And we had an entrepreneurship and we had VCs coming to our class. There was a white man that came, a managing partner at a VC firm. And I asked him, have you ever thought about investing and having only like a black and brown fund? He gave me this runaround answer. And a week later, Brittany Davis from Backstage Capital yes. came. You, thank you for your vision. Thank you for the work that you're doing. Because I am now working for Kim Lewis at Curl Mix. Because I went and I went to Backstage Capital. I looked up your fund. I looked at the part, the people that you were working with. And I just trusted you. I was like, if you're working with them, then they're a good bet. Yeah, we're gonna actually have some more here. So we need seven, eight more. Is anything like this that's out? It's a mixture. So if you take them out of that, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Hey, I've been following your work for a while, um, quite a few years. Oh, awesome. Um, I'm a member of Tech Ladies, and I first found out about you through there. So I've been nice. there for the last five years. Yeah. And I came to the conference specifically to meet you. Wow. Well, here we are. First day. Here we are. <laughs> she made me come up and talk with you. <laughs> good, good, good. Very so nervous. I was good. like, well, can you go say hello? Yeah. <laughs> Having a panic attack right now. It's okay. You're good. We just have a couple cameras. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I'm Tamu. Tamu, Tamu, Tamu Grade. Really nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. Tell me one more time. Dede Tetsubayashi. Doctor Dede Doctor Tetsubayashi. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Well, this is great. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm on Friday, I'm speaking twice. And this is just already an amazing event, right? This is so beautiful. And then my mother has her glasses here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gracious. <laughs> Those are her glasses that she designed. I need a pair. Yeah, you can check them out and wear them in the, in the um, mirror if you want. If you want to yeah. try them on. Are they sunglasses or prescriptions? So they're sunglasses, they're sunglasses, but you can get anything you want done to them either right. on your own or you can send them into our partner. Right. Oh, June. Yes. I was telling your mom how your mom reminds me of my mom. Oh, wow. I don't know if she, I know, and she got on my favorite color right now. <laughs> purple. Your favorite color? Purple. Purple. You remember? She has yes. purple, two purple pair of glasses. I'm gonna get them. Yes. <laughs> You two look like Disney uh, heroes. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Can you please film this? You both look like you're princes from like a Disney film. <laughs> it's incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> That's crazy. I just think the way that um, you show up for your customer, you're saying something about who you see them as. Yes. And so the, the packaging, the, I mean, she's sweet, <laughs> no, the, but the packaging, the fact that she's wearing them, the fact that she's colorful and so yeah. on, especially as an older woman, it means, it means a lot. It's yeah. not. And this is her. This is authentic. This is, this is oh, her oh, every I day. That. That's every why day. I asked her her name, not you, because I know yeah. your name. <laughs> I asked you what her I, name was, because I, I want to refer to her, because this yeah. is her brand. I get um, it. So it's beautiful. Love it. Wonderful. <laughs> you gotta go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, let me go <laughs> yes. Yes. That's French Riviera right there. Hey! Hey! hey. We loving it. We loving it. Show up your story, you know what I'm saying? It resonates so much. And to you, for you to have this, I do what the fuck I want, <laughs> and who's gonna check me, boo, and standing on business. Like, to, uh, Courtney was like, Yeah, you trying to go? I'm like, We, we in there. We're, we're there. We're there. So, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna be there. He's a race. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you said I'm never getting in the room you anywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes, done, done. Ah. 
Don't no, no, no. have to try on everything. Done. Let me tell you here. Go here. <laughs> you like go, go here? here. which I gave them strict instructions that slides should be graphical and very minimal information for a pitch. They will be on the screen that says the millionaire saw map so that you guys can see them and then you can probably get a little side view from, from there. Because they're LED, we can see it. So I just want to make sure you think that's comfortable enough, all right? Oh, do we have a piece of paper, like on a clipboard, that you're able to take notes on? That's what, you know, I'm so glad you asked because yeah. Callan asked that same thing. And yeah. Yes, we will have yeah. clipboard. That, that's all we really need. Yeah. There will be a countdown clock on the left screen. Dre will come out right at seven minutes. I'm going all day. Who's going to cut all this footage? He edits it. Oh. He's already done it. He's already done it. You're getting a year's worth of footage, huh? We, we release something twice a week. Constantly. <laughs> And that's just the documentary stuff. We have other types of content that we release on top of that. If you documented your stuff for a month and you posted um, consistently on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and and, and LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and it was like you know Mondays and Thursdays or mm -hmm. Sundays one time a week, you just doing it for one month for you, mm -hmm. you would have. I don't want to go too far, but you would you would have an extremely different situation as far as opportunity because you already have the op you already do the thing mm -hmm. even with smaller numbers watching mm -hmm. because it's such a deep experience. No, I know I need to do it. I uh, send me this clip because when I start doing it, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you credit for pushing me. Okay. The beginning of the year at okay. ROI on this stage yeah. in this moment. We are here. I'm, I'm gonna tap into your mic. We are here. And Arlen is telling me to do what I know I need to be doing. If you wanted to go even 10X what I just said about you, if you were to sit down in your kitchen and have a moment with the camera and talk about this is what's happening with my in my life, I'm having you know what we just talked about, half of that which we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Off camera. Mm -hmm. Girl, you know you would have so many people who related to you and also who looked up to you because they were like, she's doing all that and she has that going on. I have all that going on and I'm not doing that, but I could. It would just tap into something. So you just kind of find your kind of your 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 lane and 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 uh, you said it. I've been moving in the shadows. Yeah, you've for been a moving long in the time, and it works. For Even you. when I moved here, do you know I I found out that they they say that I'm. They nicknamed me a nickname I didn't even know. Which was? The Harriet Tubman of Puerto Rico. There you go. Because I was the first. Bringing everybody here. <laughs> I was the first black woman to move here that's, you know, a founder that's you young and in tech and all these kinds Look. of things. I'm like, y'all be telling, talking about me Let like me this. I didn't even know. I don't know if, it's any, if you care about having more people move here who are business. Like, if you want to have, let's say, it, it would be good for the ecosystem of 50 more people uh, moved here who are women, who are black, who are uh, a Latina, if that would be good for the ecosystem. If that is the case, if you believe, okay, we need this, we need doctors, and we need entrepreneurs and this, doing this for three months, you would feel it. It would be full because you would be very intentional of what you're saying. And I want to let everybody know this is something special. Yes. I have asked Rachel to interview Mrs. Sheila Johnson at the event, Your First Million Live, April 9th through the 12th, the first black woman billionaire and the co-founder of BET. Hello. Because you know what? And the founder of Salamander Resorts, which is my favorite 
fall place to go visit? Fall, she said. That's she rich. That's where I go She's fall. She's rich. She said fall. You've heard of summer. Listen. Where do you autumn, though? Listen. Okay? Can I tell you? You know what? where you want to autumn? At Salamander Resort. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to show her this. Now, do you know why I, why I wanted you to speak? I'm, I'm interviewing most people. Please. Yes. I'll tell you why. It's, some, it's a recurring theme with us. Tell me. Because y'all both have horses. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I really should be taking a break right now, but I can't. And so I'm trying to catch my breath internally. So we'll see what happens. Hey! Welcome! How are you doing? Good to see you. Oh my goodness. How are you? Yes. You brought mom? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? <laughs> and the whole fam here? How has it been? Good, good. I know, and that's yeah. like last year as we did the we did the entire Shark Tank right there. Yeah, and that's what the, that's uh, Rachel really said that it yeah it inspired it. No, that's super super fun. Mm. I'm super excited. Before our cameras, I guess, are already rolling oh. with you. So <laughs> the first. yeah. How are you? Good. <laughs> Do you have time to catch up? Later? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. On the next book, and so I got a book deal for the second book. But both both of them were a book deal, and on this one, I was like, you know what? I want to help create a thousand millionaires in the next decade. And this book is the kickoff. You can do, I feel like you're already creating over a thousand. Yeah, I want to do, and I, so I hear people say, I want to do a thousand, I want to do a million millionaires. Yeah. What I'm saying is I want to really be the reason, like the kickoff point and track it. Ooh. So to be able to look back and say that a thousand millionaires started from the learnings and the book and the uh, event that we're doing together, all of that, like we're going to track it and people who reach that status will go across the stage each year at Your First Million, million Live. Well, this book is 90% about not taking venture capital. Okay, okay. So it's about everybody else, too. Yes, yes So that's yes. what I'm most interested in okay, and focused on. Good, yeah, good. I was in your session last year. Oh, were you? So you yeah. saw when that when the uh, woman pitched? Yes. So now we're doing the Schmilly Tank because of that. Awesome. That's why we're doing Schmilly Tank later. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Did you guys end up funding her? We didn't fund her, okay. but we, I did have a meeting with her. And I gave, I gave her a lot of my time and both of them. And I think I... I think I convinced them to try to do more on their own without taking outside funding so they can hold on to more ownership, which is what I really wanted her to do. It was a process to win on that day. Yes. And so uh, I didn't prepare anything. I just was like, okay, Lord, if I win, you know, just in prayer, he was like, well, your intro song says it all. So I was like, well, you know what? That's what I'll say if I win, Lord. And that's why I sung the song on the stage. And yes. I was just like, oh, this is so perfect. But it caught me off guard in the best way. Yes. It was an, it was an amazing experience. Okay. Um, and They're going to introduce mom to Tabitha, so maybe Angel will too. Yeah. So it's good she's staying yeah. right now. Are you okay with sitting on this chair? Just keep I'm going. happy to. So they're going to be commentating and everybody's that way they're not like... I'm just checking the, the chair. Oh, okay. I, I have no problem standing wherever okay, you want. Perfect. So what the reasoning is... Um, that way, since you're going to be introducing everybody, so they're not... I'm going to be introducing everyone? Yeah, you're going to be announced first and then you'll be um, just introducing... Or we don't have a voice of God with everybody else's name, just with you, your name. So okay, let, let's talk a little bit. I would. I don't mind it. I just mind not being told that. Like oh, what? Okay, I don't. Sorry. I didn't know that was going to be the case. Okay. So kind of walk through a little okay. bit. Hey, get on the dance floor. Kit Kat and this and that. <laughs> yeah, on the ones. We can run it really quick before Shannon and Yadira get here. Uh huh. I mean, this is like something like what four names and I have to. So we're gonna fade it <laughs> smoother, <laughs> and this is what you're gonna hear. So that's what you're gonna hear. Great. We'll play your intro song for Formal Energy. It'll be obviously smooth. We're just uh huh. Uh huh. You'll give your intro. Well, well I, that's what I'm saying. I don't. Oh, okay. 
I haven't been told any of this. So okay. I'm, I'm told that I'm on a panel. Uh -huh. I'm happy to do anything, but I wasn't told any of this. So okay. Okay. I don't, so kind of take me through, why am I, am I moderating this panel? We have you as moderator. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it, it's not a problem. I can moderate in my sleep, it's just not to be told. Like, we'll, 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 we'll talk about that later so t so we can get through it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So t tell me what I'm doing. What is the topic? Tips for achieving Schmilly status. Mm -hmm. Are there any directions you want me to go in? Because we, so I'm going Pauline Pauline over. Over. Yeah, And then Pauline also, can I have yeah. a list of names so I can, I can see them course, there, but I can yeah, start can pronouncing them? Card. It's actually, the funny thing is like, it's really good to do this. Um, and if I had known about it, I actually would have been excited to do it. It just threw me off for a second, but I want you to see that. Like, you know, I'm not all sunshine all the time. I'm over the initial shock of never knowing that. I just found <laughs> and now out I could, that you didn't know. I had so. no idea. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know where that miscommunication came from. It very well could have been on my side, but I don't think so because okay. usually we have a conversation about it. I thought it was a panel and we're all yeah, just on the panel. Just, yeah. Well, the cool thing is since my book is your first million yes. and we're talking about their, fir their first yes. million and beyond, yes. it's, a, it's a natural conversation. Absolutely. So that's easy. Like Absolutely. that to me are simple. Absolutely. To me, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's, all, it's, it's all good. It yes. really it's great to see you. I'd love for you to meet my mother. She yes. adores you. Hello, Mrs. Sims. These are her glasses at 74. <laughs>want to give a shout out my mother just met Tabitha yeah my mother she just met her and they had a moment she fixed her earrings it was really cute and if you don't know my mother last year we were talking about her eyewear line it had not been launched yet it was a thing in the making and everybody I think everybody thought it was kind of cute and like oh that's really nice that you're gonna have eye yes mrs. Sims yes don't you know she has a whole table here yeah. with all six designs of her eyewear? A lot of it is like having the um, audacity of like a 30-year-old white man named Chad. <laughs> I, several of them I have in my venture uh, groups. And, you know, they're not losing sleep. And I'm not saying every single white man. Come on, y'all. I'm saying Chad. Chat, chat, you know, chat, chat, and but they're not losing sleep about a lot of this, and we don't want to emulate the mediocre, no matter who they are. Um, we can also learn from them, and some of the stuff that we take on as women of color and women and non-binary, we take on so much that we really should not take on mentally, for one reason or another. I did think it was, it's like there's so many people on the panel. Well, I get to talk. I got to talk. So much. So inspirational. So you should do comedy also. <laughs> because you're funny and you hear all the points today. That was amazing. Thank you so much. You're natural and everything. Like mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Led by emerging and underestimated managers. Y'all give it up for Harlan Hamilton. Each Smilly will come out, pitch their business for four minutes to the judges, and then it's their chance to ask questions and give feedback. Well, how does it keep its soul as it grows? So one of the, the reasons why I've kept Five Minute Bookkeeper the way it is, is because of the user experience. And whatever platform I create, it would have, the stipulation is that it has to stay, the user experience has to remain the same.